and in today's video you guys are in my kitchen welcome to my kitchen I don't think I've ever done a video in my kitchen but here we are today and the reason we are in the kitchen is because I'm doing something I've never done on my channel which is a grocery haul I don't know about you but I love watching grocery hauls here on YouTube it's just something about it I don't know it just gives me ideas of stuff to buy I like to kind of see how other people are eating I don't know I just like grocery store or grocery hauls and since this is simply just see honey this channel is all things me and going to the grocery store is something that I do <laughs> So if you enjoy grocery hauls and you would like to see what I picked up today, then keep on watching. So in today's video, I went to, or it's going to have a haul from two different grocery stores. In this video, you'll see my haul from Trader Joe's as well as H-E-B. I just got back from grocery shopping, so, you know, I might be a little sweaty, you know, but just forgive it. Just forgive it, okay? Just just, just don't pay it any mind. <laughs> But yeah, H-E-V and Trader Joe's will be featured in this haul today. Now, this is my big shopping trip. I go to the grocery store every week, no lie. And weekly, I'll just pick up like produce or something random that I ran out of. Or if there's something in particular I want to cook and I need a special ingredient, then I'll grab that weekly. But this haul today is what I do every three weeks. So it's my main, you know, shopping trip where I get a lot to last me a long time. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with Trader Joe's. Y'all love me some Trader Joe's. Now, I'm not going to put this stuff away. Oh, gosh, this bag is heavy. I'm not going to put this stuff away in this video just because it would take longer. But I'm just going to kind of show you what I got and, yeah, and why. Maybe why I got it. So here we go. Trader Joe's first. So I picked up two bags of organic salad mix. I've got the baby spinach and spree mix blend as well as the romaine salad. Just something quick and easy when I want to make a little salad. Then I got some organic green beans. Y'all, I saute these bad boys with some um, oil, salt, pepper, and some fresh garlic. That's all you need. It's delicious. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, I also picked up some raw kombucha. I only drink this brand, which is Synergy. I don't like um, the other brand kombuchas. You guys, I'm sorry if the lighting is weird, but like the sun is going up and down. We're just going to make it work. But I like Synergy brand. And at my Trader Joe's, this is only $2.99. At other grocery stores, this stuff can cost up to $4.50, $4.70. Depends on where you live, but $2.99 is pretty cheap. The cheapest I found here where I live. So I got the ginger ale flavor. This new one, I've never had this one. This is elder belt, elderberry and juniper. I've never had this flavor before. And as well as strawberry lemonade. So kombucha is really good for your digestive system and your belly. And what I like about this brand, Synergy, is they don't add any sugar. They don't add any extra stuff. Now, you'll notice in my haul, I try to eat really clean. I am really big on ingredients. I read everything. Yeah, I try to eat as clean as possible. And, yeah. I also grabbed two um, cartons of pasture-raised eggs because if it's not pasture-raised, pasture-raised eggs then what kind of egg is it? It's got to be pasteurized. Those chickens should be running around free, okay? Not in a cage and not in a factory. They should be running around free like they were intended to do. So get you some pasteurized eggs. They cost a little bit more. Mm, they're worth it, though, and they taste so much better, y'all, and it has so much more, has so much more um, nutrients in it. Now, this is new. I've never picked this up, but I saw this, and I was like, I'm going to give it a try. This is some pickles. It says Manhattan-style whole pickles kosher and what i liked about these pickles are the ingredients super clean it's just cucumbers water salt garlic spice and dried chili no extra like stuff you look on the back of pickles you'll be amazed at all the things that they put in there that are not necessary including even coloring like why are we putting yellow dye this and blue dye that into pickles for what Anyway, I picked that up. I don't know how they taste, but we're going to give them a try. I like pickles because it's a quick little snack. It gives me a little bit of salty without me eating a chip. Because I am like, you know, I'm trying to slim down. So I'm really, really conscious of what I eat. I also picked up these chicken meatballs. 
I normally don't get my chicken from the grocery store. There's a farm here that I order my chicken from because it's pasture raised. And anyway, I ordered my chicken, but I saw these and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them a try. The ingredients were clean. There was no like preservatives or weird things in here. So these are just chicken meatballs. I'm gonna try this like it's some pasta or something like that. I also picked up some ground turkey, some more ground, ground turkey. This is my first time buying turkey in five years. You guys, if you don't know, which I don't think you did, I did not eat meat or eggs for five years straight. In the past two and a half, three months, I have added back eggs in my diet and I have added back chicken in my diet. And as of maybe two weeks ago, I've added back turkey back into my diet. And I must say, a lot of deficiencies I had and a lot of things that were kind of going on in my body are repairing itself now that I've incorporated eggs and chicken back into my diet so yeah this is my first time picking up some ground turkey in five years but i can make me something nice with that i also picked up this chicken it's just it says it's chicken so it's just chicken olive oil salt and pepper now i picked this up like i said i really don't buy my chicken from the grocery store um, i buy it from this farm but i just wanted some chicken that was clean this is pretty clean that was already prepared because during the middle of the day, I get hungry and I'm trying to keep my protein up. That's really helping me with dropping some pounds and building muscle. It's eating a lot of protein or having high protein in my diet. So I figured with this, I could just grab this, throw this on some salad and bam, you know, something quick and easy. I also picked up a pack of turkey burgers. Like I said, I just incorporated turkey back into my diet. This was very clean ingredients. It's just turkey, salt, and rosemary extract. So that's pretty clean there okay here we go with bag number two this is still trader joe's so i picked up some black tea unsweetened i also picked up some organic date syrup i don't use like cane sh uh, sugar or sugar alternatives like i just don't like that so i like date syrup i use this to sweeten up my um smoothies and i'll even use it on pancakes on the rare occasion that i'm actually eating pancakes I picked up some organic flaxseed meal. This goes in my smoothie. Just makes the smoothie more filling and plus flaxseed is really good for you. Gives you that fiber. I picked up some napkins. I picked up some new kitchen cloths. I use these just when I'm drying my dishes or you know drying the counters off and things like that. I also picked up some raw organic honey. I use this in my tea. Sometimes I put this in my smoothie. If I don't if I don't have any date syrup, I'll use this. But I use this in my smoothies. And y'all, I like honey on my chicken. Tell me down below if you are a honey on top of your fried chicken type of person. Because I definitely am. I picked up a can of organic garbanzo beans or chickpeas. And I also picked up some organic extra virgin olive oil. All right, you all, so now we're on bag number three, still Trader Joe's. Along with that extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil, I also picked up some avocado oil. Now, these are the only two oils I cook with, and I recommend you do the same. I use my avocado oil whenever I'm, like, frying something or it's high heat. I use my olive oil if it's low heat, even though we really aren't supposed to, like, use this to heat this up, not really. Olive oil is mainly supposed to be like for cold things like salad dressings and things like that. But sometimes I will use it to cook if it's very, very, very low heat. But um, yeah, these are the only two oils I use. I recommend you do the same. Y'all, and again, it's a little bit pricier. Not really, olive oil is not that bad. Avocado can be a little pricey, mm, it depends. But I recommend that because like the soybean oils, the corn oils, the was it safflower oils and yeah even sunflower oil those seed oils and those oils those vegetable oils are really bad for us you guys like they cause high blood pressure diabetes those are the real culprits those those seed oils so if you can and you're not allergic use avocado oil to fry with and then you know your olive oil for things that's not high heat or like when you're making your salad dressings and different things like that okay i also picked up some albacore tuna in a can i like that this one didn't have any salt added and it's wild caught 
I only eat wild caught fish and I recommend you do the same. I don't do farm raised. Mm -mm. We're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I don't do farm raised, honey. It's gotta be caught from the ocean, okay? Anyway, and I know that it has some issues too. I get it, I know, but I can't do the farm raised fish. I just can't, just can't. Anyway, I picked up some organic maple syrup. I use this, of course, for like pancakes, even though, like I said, I don't really eat them often, but every now and then I'll treat myself to some pancakes. But I also use this to sweeten up like just little desserts that I make. I picked up some pistachios. These are just roasted and lightly salted. No oil was used for these. So these are dry roasted, which I like because a lot of the, the nuts and things like that, again, they're cooked in these oils that just aren't the best. So I like that this was just dry roasted and has light salt on there. I picked up some sauce. You guys, I have gotten really big into chicken tacos. Like, lately I have been eating a lot of chicken tacos. And I really like this brand. Um, or this salsa from Trader Joe's. It's really good. It really does have, like, an authentic taste for salsa coming out of can. There's one more. Oh, no, that's not albacore. This is some Alaskan, wild Alaskan pink salmon. I like these that I picked up. The reason I picked these up is I like to do tuna salads. And it's just something quick. I can throw on some lettuce and make like a wrap or something like that. And it's high protein, y'all. I'm real big on protein. So that was bag number three. Oh, and one more date syrup. I bought two of those. That was bag number three, still Trader Joe's. All right, bag number four, still Trader Joe's. And I'm saying bags because I use my own, um, I bring my own bags to the grocery store. I just find like a lot can fit in there versus having like all these plastic bags. I also picked up, along with those pistachios, I picked up some cashews. The ingredients in this is just cashews, so it's raw, it wasn't roasted, and there's no salt in here. And I also picked up some lightly salted almonds. The ingredients are just almonds and salt, so these were not cooked in an oil, it's dry roasted. The reason I picked up so much nuts is because that's what I use to snack on. I snack on nuts and fruit, that just helps me. To not eat chips you will not see any chips candy cookies muffins at all in this haul because i don't buy it because if i buy it i'm gonna eat it and if i eat it i'm gonna eat it and eat it and eat it till it's gone and that's why your girl got some meat on her bones now okay so <laughs> unless until i can like for real for real have that discipline to just eat a handful of chips and go set myself down and not finish the whole bag i just don't buy it i just don't buy it honey you gotta do what works for you and what works for me is to not buy it so you won't see any junk food in this video at all i just don't buy it um anyway i picked up a bag of organic rusted potatoes y'all i love me a good baked potato oh my goodness i love me a good baked potato a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper oh yes I also picked up a bag of organic gala apples. I love those apples. I love that. I also picked up a bag of organic sweet onions. I really only cook with sweet onions. And I know, like, there's different kind of onions that you should use for different things. But I just love me some sweet onions. Like, I just love the flavor that sweet onion gives to my food. Okay. We're on bag number, I think it's what, five? Before. This is bag number five, and this is the last bag for Trader Joe's. I picked up this Chilean hack. I think it's pronounced hack or hake. I'm not sure. I've never seen this fish before, but it was wild caught, and it was a good price. Y'all, it was only $4.44, and I think it has like four pieces in here. It has the skin on. I was like, you know what? This probably will be good um, fried. So, yeah, I never had this fish before. never heard of it before, but it looks pretty good, and... It's wild caught. You know, that's important for me. <laughs> and it was a good price for fish. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I also picked up some chia seed. I also add this into my smoothies along with the flaxseed meal. And this was actually a good price. Um, these are organic. And normally, like, when I look for chia seeds, they're expensive, y'all. Like, $10. Ain't nobody got time for that. But Trader Joe's had your girl. They had your girl for $5 for these chia seeds. Can't beat that. I also picked up some organic... Blueberries. I have really become a berry eating kind of girl. Like these are my go-tos. I clean them and I just store them in the fridge. So whenever I want like a little snack or a little something sweet instead of going to candy, 
I'll grab some blueberries. And blueberries, oh my goodness, they're so good for us, you guys. All berries are. Blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. They have so many yumminess in it for our bodies. So, pick up some of those. I picked up a green pepper because, you know, I need it. And I picked this up. I stay away from, like, I try to stay away from the processed foods, but I did pick this up because the ingredients were clean. And it's just this pasta and it's actually really good you guys and it's quick you just throw this in the pan a little bit of oil let it kind of melt down you store this in the freezer and it's really good with like a piece of salmon and like some greens green beans or peas or something like that a little salad something like that on the side really quick easy side dish so i picked that up and that is it for trader joe's now we're almost done we're almost done let's go ahead and get into heb okay you guys this is the first bag from H-E-B. I'm just showing on some almonds, which is why they were open, because y'all, I'm hungry. The girl only has some pineapple today. And it is after one o'clock. I'm hungry, okay? <laughs> so excuse me for chewing on those almonds. But anywho, H-E-B only had three bags, four. Let's get into it. You guys, I was so happy when I saw this. So... I buy, only buy organic strawberries. There's a reason. But anyway, only buy organic strawberries. And these are normally, at my store, five, like five seventy eight a pint. Which I know, it's kind of pricey. But, the, the organic ones, y'all, were on sale for two ninety eight. So you best believe I bought two. I basically got two for the price that I would normally pay for one. And if you want to know a trick, trick you guys for keeping your strawberries to last because I know they don't but they do now well I know how to make them last now when you get them home clean them you know put whatever vegetable wash you use or whatever and then when you're done you want to soak them in some vinegar some regular distilled vinegar let them sit in there about two three minutes and then rinse them off pat them dry with a paper towel and bam these bad boys last longer than they would if you just left them in the fridge or even on the counter so I bought two of these for basically three dollars a piece. That's a really good deal. It's cheaper than what I'm used to pay for. I got two mangoes. I love me mangoes. Nice quick little snack. I got some organic celery. I use this in my tuna salad. Are you guys team celery in your tuna salads, your chicken salads, tuna salads? Or you don't get down with celery? Y'all let me know. Um, I got some almond flour tortilla. They're grain free. I am not 100% gluten free. I'm not, but I am, I would say about 85, 90% gluten free. I try to stay away from gluten as much as possible. It's really something we just don't need y'all. We just really don't need it. But anyway, I love these little tortillas. I put my tuna in here, my little tuna salad, honey. Just so good. Tuna salad in here when I make my chicken tacos that I mentioned early, earlier, I use these. I use these and what I love about them is the ingredients is so clean y'all they're so clean so I picked that up I picked up some frozen fruit I got some strawberries and also a berry blend I use those in my protein shakes really good I picked up two almond milks almond milk um I don't do dairy I haven't had dairy in over five years. Just when I stopped eating chicken and eggs, I also stopped eating dairy. And now, because I haven't had dairy in so long, I've developed an allergy to it. And when I get dairy, my throat closes up and my tongue swells up. So, you know, that's not good. <laughs> so I can't have dairy anymore anyway. So that's something I have not included back in my diet. So I do drink almond milk. What I like about this brand of almond milk is that it's, of course, clean. A lot of those almond milks, you guys, have gums in them and fillers, and it's really not even almond. It's not much almond in there at all. What I like about this, there's no gums or anything like that in here. There's three ingredients. It's filtered water, organic almonds, and Himalayan pink salt. That's it. So it's pretty clean, and it is gum-free. I also picked up five of these. Little Ollie Pops. I only like this one. I only drink this one, I should say. This is like a probiotic drink. It's kind of carbonated, so it's kind of like you're drinking pop, but it's not pop. 
Do you guys say pop or do you say soda? Where I'm from, we say pop. Okay, this is pop. <laughs> but it kind of gives you like a pop feel without it being pop. What I like about it is that it has no sugar added as far as like cane sugar or stevia or sucrose and all those things. No, the only sugar that's added is just natural sugar like from juice, like from oranges or whatever. What I like about this flavor of the Olipop compared to other ones is that it doesn't have natural flavors in there. I try to stay away from things that say natural flavors on the back as an ingredient because a natural natural flavors are basically perfumes for your mouth. I'm just being honest. It makes whatever you're eating taste like whatever it says it's supposed to taste like. And I don't need you to make something taste like orange or make it taste like strawberry. Just use strawberries. Use strawberry juice or use orange juice. Like, why why use something to make it taste that way? Just use that ingredient. But anyway, I mean, let me get off my bandwagon. <laughs> Let me get on my bandwagon. So this particular flavor of Olipop does not have natural flavors in there, which is great. And the ingredients are pretty clean. I also picked up about seven of these chicken of the seeds. These are salmon. I like to mix my salmon with my tuna and make like a nice little salad. It's really good, like a little chicken salad. Well, not chicken salad, but like a tuna salad. It's really good if you put salmon and mix it in with your tuna. I'm telling you, it's really good. These... Amazing price. These were only $134, you guys, where I used to live before I moved down here. These, this little pack, these used to run me like $4. I kid you not. These run me $4. So when I saw these were $1.34, you best believe I stocked up, okay? And for the first time, like I said, I just added turkey back into my diet. I have some turkey bacon. I like this brand. I haven't had it, but what I like about this brand is that they are pasture raised turkeys so they're not like stuffed in a cage and they're, they're uncured it's uncured which is good meaning they don't add nitrates in them uh, nitrates are what causes cancer like colon cancer especially in men so men really watch try to stay away from like hot dogs and bacon and things like that because they all have sausages they all have nitrates in them and if you're going to consume those things make sure you get one that's actually nitrate Free. All right, we have two more bags, y'all. We done. Alrighty, almost finished. This video is a little longer than I wanted to be, so I'm gonna hurry up. I got some unsweetened ketchup from Primal Kitchen. I love this brand. I buy a lot of their things. I got some organic vegetable broth, some organic jalapenos. These are delicious, and the ingredients are super clean. Y'all, I love these. I love these on my tacos. I put it on my tuna salad. It's so good. I got some salt because I need some more. I got some red hot, Frank's red hot. Y'all tell me down below, what's your favorite um, hot sauce? I, that's my favorite hot sauce because it's not too hot. I got some mayo, again, from Primal Kitchen. I like this brand because, of course, the ingredients are clean. If you look on the back of mayos, you will see so much added stuff that doesn't need to be there. This is just avocado oil, organic eggs, organic egg yolks, organic vinegar, sea salt, rosemary extract. That's it. Clean, clean, clean. I also picked up some salad dressing from Bragg's. The reason I buy this is because it's clean ingredients. If you look on the back of a lot of your salad dressings, it's made with soybean oil and a whole bunch of sugar and stuff that you just, just don't need to be up in there. This has none of that. So I love it. I also picked up a pineapple. You guys, I used to get my pineapples I already sliced up because I could see it and I could see if it was going to be sweet or not. But now I know how to pick a good pineapple. So now I spend less money and just buy a whole pineapple. The trick to buying, to buying a good pineapple is that you want it to be kind of yellowish oranges at the bottom and then it can go back to being green. You don't want to buy one that's all the way this color because it's going to go bad soon. And you definitely don't want to buy one that's all green. And what you want to do is turn it over and smell the butt of it, right? Smell the bottom. And if it smells sweet, if it smells like a pineapple, it smells sweet, then that is a good one to get. I got some small navel oranges. I got some key lime. You guys, get you some key lime, okay? First of all, they're seeded. They have so many just natural goodness in there. You add this to your water, and it's just going to invigorate you. 
I definitely recommend key lime over regular lime. And I, last thing I bought is an organic cucumber for my salads and things like that. Oh, we done, y'all. That is my grocery store haul from Trader Joe's and H-E-B. Now I need to go put this stuff away. If you guys enjoyed this video, like if you want me to do more grocery store hauls, you gotta let me know. Because if not, I won't. Okay? I won't. <laughs> but if you like this video, let me down, let me know down below. Also, let me know if anything I picked up is something you picked up too. Also, let me know what is your favorite place to shop. I must I must say, since moving down here, H E B has become one of my favorite grocery stores. Trader Joe's was always one of my favorite grocery stores, but H E B is now on the list too. It's clean in there. The prices are good. I just like it. But yeah, you guys, that's a little grocery store haul. Thank you so much for joining me on today. Talk to me down below. I'll be sure to talk next. And I